who's grooming and he's not chewing my sleeve. No. No. Stopped him. I've mentioned before he's a very chewy puppy. He loves using his teeth and they're very sharp and painful and people don't like it. So I'm still redirecting him onto toys like this Air Kong and he loves it. So whilst I'm talking, I shall keep him engaged with the Air Kong. I'm going to show you how to introduce grooming. I use these brushes from the company of animals. This is a Zoom Groom. And I've got some other equipment here this is from the Kong company. I can sometimes use this with some food. A clever boy. The most important thing is a lead. If you're on your own, you might decide to hook the lead over a, a hook in the skirting board or over a, some other connection in the house. So you've got two hands free. Now, in my case, I can just put it under my leg here. And it's not easy to groom a dog, instruct and film at the same time, but I'll do my best. The Zoom groomer like because this introduces him gently to grooming. So if I do that, you'll see straight away, see his teeth come round to grab hold of me again. Because he's wondering what this thing is on his back. And although it's probably quite pleasant, he wants to play. So a game starts building up between you and the dog. You groom it, it starts to bite the grooming tool, and moreover, it starts to bite your hands. And this can get out of hand. Psychologically, puppies have to accept that you handle them, that you touch them, that the vet will examine them. And we start this in grooming, so the dog gets used to being handled. So if I just spray that with citronella again, come, good boy. See, I called him again, didn't give him a treat. Well, I did, the treat was my voice. I've actually put some citronella on the back of that and some on my hand. So now, watch when he goes to bite it. There he goes, and see his teeth come off straight away. Little sneeze, doesn't like that at all. So I'll groom him again. Oh, that's a clever boy. And he's getting used to me doing this. The point of grooming when you first begin is not to groom the dog. It's just to simply get the puppy used to being touched. Most people groom the dogs, depending on the breed, it's coat once a day. I groom my dogs once or twice a week. And it really does depend on the breed of dogs. Some need more attention than others. But he has to get used to me grooming him. And most dogs, after a while, love being groomed. You're going to turn this into a game, aren't you? Another way of helping you teach a dog to accept grooming is to put some food in one of these Kongs. Now this one here, if I put some ham in there, and some there, and some there. Now I, what I do is I put that down there, and whilst he's trying to get that out, I'm starting the grooming. And he's so distracted with the food inside the Kong, that if that happens for three or four minutes, he doesn't object to the grooming or turn it into a game. So I'll bring, oh! And away we go. If you have a particularly boisterous dog that simply just turns grooming into chaos, get somebody to help you. Ask somebody to hold the dog on a lead whilst you get on with the grooming. But in most cases, once dogs realise that grooming is actually a pleasant, a very pleasant action, and they love it, they just sit there for hours. Dogs love being groomed. But if you meet, sometimes you'll meet people whose dogs don't like being groomed, and you'll find nearly in all cases, they weren't introduced to the grooming at this age with fun, with treats, and eventually some discipline and obedience. Again, I don't want to be using the word no too much because he's just naturally a playful puppy and I don't want to suppress his inquisitiveness. But if he really gets out of hand, I'll use the word no when I have to. Oh, oh, 
Now he's pulling away from me now, and I'm going to let the lead go, because if I don't, it could be a struggle. And I don't want him to associate the lead with anything negative. So he'll come back to me if I call him. Come. What's this? What's this? Come. Sit. Clever boy. And now I've got the lead back in my hand, and I've got some control. But what we didn't get is that bucking and bronking you often see with puppies uh, when they get frightened of the lead. I dropped the lead as soon as it got too long. I don't want him to make a bad association. Now, what do we have here? What's this? I smell food. What's this? Sit. Good boy. Good boy. Let's see if he remembers the down from before. Dita, sit. Down. Clever boy. So we'll finish on a good note. Good boy. Clever boy. Oh, it's clever. End of the training.